What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ramblin' Garage. Today we're going to do a video with the 2023 Grand Cherokee L. Uh, I've been wanting to get some side steps for that thing and I reached out to Snailfly on YouTube or on Amazon and uh, I asked them if they could send me a set of uh, their running boards and they did that. Um, so I really appreciate them for doing that. I want to do a nice video on the insulation because the main complaint I see in the reviews is that uh, the, the directions and instructions for insulation are a little confusing. So uh, we're going to try and make that a little easier for you guys for something to reference here. Uh, looks like we're going to take out a couple of screws in the front and the back and then it's mostly push pins just pulling the thing off and uh, you know using a pry tool. So it should be pretty easy. Um, I have them back here behind me. I'm going to do a, an unboxing real quick and uh, show you guys what comes with it. And uh, we'll get uh, straight to the installation. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. They do use some... Uh, some like nut certs of sorts and they have a nut cert tool for that so we're gonna learn how to use that and i'll show you guys how it works um and i'll show you how the nut certs themselves work so enough talking let's turn around let's check this thing out and uh see what we got in the box Alright guys, so first thoughts on these is I they look like OEM parts to me. OEM quality of the running boards themselves. Um, the brackets, I can't tell if they are painted or powder coated. I'm guessing they're painted. Um, we'll see how those hold up to the test of time. Sometimes on the, the non-OEM parts, these come painted and they get chipped and they rust a little bit. But they're pretty easy to pull off and repaint. Um, then these are the brackets that uh, hold on to the pinch welds. Kind of the same thing there. I'm curious to see how those hold up over time. But everything seems to be pretty nice and well made. Also have the uh, the nut cert tool here. So if we look here, actually this one looks like it came with yeah, two of them, two nut cert tools. But um, essentially how this works is you uh, it'll be easier to show you on the car. But you push push these into holes in the chassis, and the nut cert is gonna compress them so they they pinch those holes in that sheet metal. And then you have uh, some reliable holes that you can use and uh, drive bolts into. So uh, that's enough of that. We got to go over here. Remove our remove our side steps here. We got one screw here, another one back in there, and two more here. One here and one there. So I'm gonna pop those out and we'll pull that off. Okay, now that those are off, someone might have pushed your way back in. You can literally just grab them like that, they pop right off. Uh, we gotta get the top ones around the top line here. So you can see now that those are loose, we can push down a little bit. We can put the supplied um, pry tool in there. I'm gonna use a towel just to make sure I don't mess up any of this paint. But we can use that, pry them out, and this piece should pretty much just drop off. Alright, so I ended up having to manhandle it a little bit and I ended up breaking all the, the clips that were here for the most part from the factory, but that's fine there. You can, if you ever need to go back to the factory side skirts, they're super easy to find these and just replace them. And uh, we need them off anyways, the new kit comes with new ones, so not really a big deal. So I'm going to get these out. They come off really easily once you have access to them. Like, you can just pop them out. And that's it. So. I'm gonna clean all these up, get them out of there. And uh, we'll come back after that. 
So come back after that, we're gonna clean up the, the side skirt here and uh, make sure everything is clean before we put the new side steps on. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's take a look at how these go on. It had me confused for a second, but uh, they go just like this. The confusing part for me is that there's a, a hole here and I don't think it's being used. Um, so I think we ignore this one, we add the rift certs to the, I mean they literally fit in right, right where they're supposed to go. They slide right in, so we add them there, and then we're going to bolt to the pinch weld as well, here, and that should be it. This is going to bolt to the actual side step itself. So let's try to put in these rib nuts. They go on the tool just like this. What it's going to do is it's going to pinch it in there and kind of like a, a drywall anchor, it's going to pull the inside down and pinch it on the sheet metal here. So let's get that tight and keep it applied up there. You're going to hold this part, the top piece, and then you're going to tighten it down, tighten down the bottom piece. So to do that, we have a 17 mil and a 14 mil. 17 is just going to hold it in place, and the 14 is going to drive it home. So we got that nice and tight. I'm going to, as I do this, push up with the 17 because I want it to sit flush. that in place so those should line up and they do and they actually have an indent for the rib nut or the, in, the rib cert nut cert whatever you want to call it so they they line up pretty well so I'm gonna go get the the bolts for those we'll get those put in place and uh, we can go from there I don't super love this bracket like that kind of wish it just wasn't there to be honest, um, huh. we'll see how it holds it in there. Maybe it won't make contact. It kind of feels like it's going to make some contact up here, but let's uh, yeah, let's see. While these are loose, we're going to use this guy. This is the bar that holds it in on the pinch bolt. So, I believe, well, I thought it was. Now I'm second guessing myself. I believe it goes like that. Okay, 
we should just hold it in place. So guys, we're next day. Um, I had to wait a day. I have Amazon coming. I broke both of these. Um, they have the little plastic bearings in the inside there. And uh, I don't know, it might be user error, but they get crushed and then they, they've kind of been one time use for me. So um, I'm waiting on that to come. Once we get that in there, or in once we get that here, it should be here in the next couple of hours that we can do the rest of those. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to take off the passenger side, but I want to show you a couple more things on the driver's side. So this bracket goes in here, it goes in here nice. Uh, the very first one uh, does not have an open hole for the, the rift certs like these ones do back here. So that does not receive one. I'm going to take this off and put a little vinyl underneath as a little protective measure because it does flex a little bit. But I'm thinking once we get the other ones in here, it's probably not going to do that. Combine that with the clips that go in here on the top of the running boards. I don't think it's going to be a problem. So um, with that being said, I don't see it very clearly in the instructions, but you're also going to want to rev cert here. All right, future me here with the little uh, do as I say, not as I do moment. You don't need the rev cert here. Front two do not get it. The rear one gets it. So. Since I put these in, I'm too short for the rear on the other side, which is fine. You can order more. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but uh, you don't need it there. So just an FYI, only on the rears. I'm going to work on getting the other side off. Um, and then I think I'm going to catch up with you guys once the uh, tool from Amazon gets here. I grabbed the one from Harbor Freight. This says these are M8s. Either Harbor Freight is wrong or these are wrong. I think these are M10s. So I'm hoping they're M10s because that's what I have coming. So once that's here, we'll take a look. We'll get these on. I'm excited to see what they look like when they're done. So we got this passenger side off and I'm just down here cleaning it all up. I'm waxing the, the whole underside. I like to wax things when I take it apart. But this way, once we put the brackets on and we cover some of the stuff up, it's gonna have a layer of coating under it too if anything gets kind of pinched under there. So uh, just doing some quick waxing by hand. And uh, once our tool gets here, you get some of these scratches with the, the removal tool, but they're kind of superficial. So don't really worry about them, but um, yeah. Once the tool's here, we're gonna put our uh, rib sets or our rib certs in, not certs, and uh, we'll wrap this up. So I'm just kind of tinkering as I uh, wait for my tool. Uh, just putting in the plastic clips. These are super simple, as you expect. They just kind of slide right in. Oh, they're simple if I can hold on to it. And that's that. So you do them all the way down, and uh, those will line up the boards before you clamp them to the actual mounts on the car. So. I'm going to get my tool here. I'm going to show you guys how to use it. We'll get the, the nut certs put in. And uh, we should be pretty much done with this. We're, we're pretty close. So I'm looking forward to getting these actually mounted and uh, everything done. All right, guys. So my tool got here. This is by, it looks like Aoben. Let's see how you spell it there. On Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. I think it's pretty easy to use. Um, literally just thread it in. It is an M10 um, rib cert, so that's why the M8 wasn't working. So I just go about halfway in, push it up. I gotta expand it first. So get about halfway up in there. Push it up. And this first little 
first little pull will get you to hold it, and then we'll tighten it down more. You run into a few of these that don't go straight in if you have that. Just grab a rubber mallet and tap it in. It's just because there's excess paint in those spots. It's kind of hard to get your fingers up in there. But... Alrighty, so we got the brackets in for the, the driver's side. I'm gonna go do the uh, passenger side next. These look pretty pretty good in there. So there's a little flex, but once we tie it all together, I think it's gonna look pretty good. So um, yeah, there we go. Got all of them, same deal here. Little flex, but I think we expect that a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do the passenger side and then we'll come back and we'll put the boards on. I'm excited to do that. All right, hindsight, it seems that it's easier to put these on without the brackets on. Um, they just don't seem to fish up under there properly. So I'm gonna loosen up the brackets and we're gonna come back and uh, do this. So one second. And they got those to line up. Uh, a little easier to line up with the, the pry tool that they give you. You just use that to kind of move them, move the little push tabs around. But man, those look fantastic. So I obviously got to put the brackets back on. I'm going to put the brackets back on and uh, I got to bolt on the side steps from the bottom and um, we should be just about done. All right, so I'm temporarily using my nice uh, kind of old workbench here. Um, I was doing some research on how these brackets work. So these are spacers that go between the brackets that mount to the body and the side steps themselves. So the very first one closest to the front of the vehicle it is only getting it is only getting a screw so you can tell that we have three different size screws or bolts here um, the front only gets a screw the second one my theory is it gets one of these spacers and then the very last one in the back it gets two spacers so if we look for the back that is thick enough to grab the bolt or the the nut on the other side the nut is in a channel 
on the running board itself. I'll show you guys that. Um, this one is technically long enough to make it through both, but not long enough to thread all the way into the nut. So and my theory is that that one will just go like that. So let's go see if my theory is correct. Uh, I think it should be because there's three provided for each side and the instructions show that there is not one of these cross braces on the front. So I'm gonna go try and figure this out. I'll show you guys what I find. All right, so my suspicions were correct. You used two up here. I don't know how well you can see that, but we have two spacers, one and two. And there are little, there are little uh, bolts or like nuts that kind of slide in this groove here. So you need to slide them all the way down. And then you go to here. You only have one spacer. And then you are all the way, oops, I went too far. And then you're here, no spacer. So once those are in, the side steps are officially in the car. They're done. You just need to remember to go do the wheel well liners up here, the two, uh, the two screws that we took out first, and uh, then obviously do the other side. So uh, I'm going to put those two screws in, and uh, I'm going to do the other side, and then let's do a final, final review on this thing. Man, these look fantastic. They look really good. I'm happy about them. So uh, enough laying on the ground, though. Let's go check them out. So guys, these things are in and they are awesome. They look great. They fit the factory moldings. Uh, color is off a little because this thing's filthy, but they fit very well. Um, I jumped on them in the rear and in the front. I'm almost 300 pounds and you know, they flex a little, but not much. They're very secure. So again, back here fits well. Uh, I can tell we got our screws back in there and uh, all in all, I'm really happy with these things. I think they look really good. Go over to the passenger side. They just look OEM to me. I like them. All right, guys, so there's the uh, Snailfly Grand Cherokee L running boards. Um, Mopar calls them integrated running boards. They just kind of replace the uh, factory uh, rocker panel cover. So these things are nice. I really like them. I want to thank uh, Snailfly for sending them out again. Really, seriously, thank you guys. These things are awesome. Um, if you guys have any questions while you're watching this, please comment in, in, the, in the comments and just ask. Um, one thing to note about these, uh, I'm trying to think of things that I ran into that you might want to know. Um, obviously don't put the brackets on until after you have the running boards on. Take your time with the rib certs or the rib, the nut certs. I would order that tool that I had, um, it's around here somewhere. I'd order that. I think it just works even nicer, even if you don't break the tool that they include. And uh, trying to think what else. Um, start at the edges when you're putting these running boards on and when you're taking the old ones off. That seemed to work a lot better for me. And uh, 
yeah, I don't take your time when you're in there. I think it's a good time to wax and just clean it all up because when are you gonna do that again? Probably, probably never. I mean, I don't do that very often outside of when I'm working on stuff. But all in all, I think those look like they are OEM quality for less than half the price, and uh, I, I'm really happy with them. I keep turning and looking at them. They just look good. I think they make a they give it a whole new look and uh, they perform really well. Like I said, I can jump up and down on them on almost 300 pounds. So um, that was in the front and the back. I think they're pretty nice. So um, total install time, it took me quite a while because I ran into the issue with the Nutsert install tool. And then I actually had an issue uh, cross-threading one of the Nutserts, which was just me kind of being impatient. Um, so again, be patient. I ran into that. And then I had to, I put the Nutserts in the second hole, so in the middle of the car. Um, like I told you guys not to, um, so I had to wait for those nut certs as well. So a little extra time there. I would say if you watch this video and you know the steps one by one, you can probably get these done in I'd say 45 minutes aside. Give another half an hour for for uh, getting those nut certs put in. Um, yeah, right around two two and a half hours probably is pretty reasonable. So um, yeah, that's that. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, the link is in the description to Snailflies. Uh, their side steps. They have ones that are silver as well that kind of match the, the accents. I'm glad I went with all black. It looks good on here, but I think the silver would look good as well. And uh, they have some other options as well. So go check out what they have. Um, they have some non OEM style running boards as well. They're all down in the description. Again, thank you guys at Snailfly. I appreciate that. I reached out to you guys and uh, you were willing to work with me, and that's awesome. So thank you guys. Uh, questions in uh, the comments below, and uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.